and welcome to Aussie Scale Modeler, Jace here. Glad to have your company once again. Well, we're back here with the Tamiya 135th Scale Mark IV Panzer Model G. And before I go on, as I always do guys, thank you. A huge thank you to everybody that hit the like, subscribe. And for you that are sitting here now, watching this episode, massive thanks. To all the groups on Facebook, and there are many of you, and there's many modelling groups around the world, not alone just this wonderful country here. You guys take the time, support the channel. Um, really, really appreciate it. So, yeah, and people that support the channel, not monetarily, but, yeah, they support it. Like, Monique from Iggy Sticky, you'll be seeing some new products from her during this build. Um, well, I'm, I got them in the mail this morning, so I might use them in here. Um, Wayne from BB's Hobbies sent me some uh, MIG... Uh, red Brown or Red Braun, Ross Braun. Uh, what else did he send me? Some German Grey and Gunmetal Grey, I believe it was. So, thank you. Hang on, no, what was it? Um, no. Um, some XF93. Now, probably got it up on the wall of Tamiya there, but um, when we move house, I will be organising them in numerical order, but right now, nah. A uh, bit of a update I'm not sure if um, everybody knows getting a little bit better um, day by day but yeah, yeah we all have ups and downs but anyway guys what we'll do is um, visit these wonderful people first you've got Monique from IggyStickyGlue.com or IggyStickyGlue.com.au Braden from OutlawPaints.com.au Andrew from Pullball Models and why not let's throw up Wayne from BB's Hobbies there righto guys in 3, 2, 1, we'll uh, head down to the bench. We'll get some painting done. I, I might um, try a split screen on this one, so yeah, let's see how we go with that. And uh, yeah, let's go in. 3, 2, 1. Righto guys, a little bit of a voice over here due to the fact that I don't, uh, a few sections that need a bit of explaining. One will be the upcoming part where you'll see part of the turret assembled, but um, it was all by magic. And <laughs> if you, I've learned something, if you do not press a record button, it will not record. Crazy days we live in, but uh, that's the, that was the reality of it. I looked over and went, no way. But, so it's not lost footage, it's just no footage. But 
we do catch up a bit in the end there. You get to see a few different bits and pieces of um, well, what was pre-assembled and painted and uh, a bit of the weathering I did. So I threw this in. I don't think anybody wants to watch just the brush go back and forth. Um, as you can see, I masked up that back end of the, tar uh, the main gun there. And yeah. So it all went down very, very nicely. And we're moving on to the next step, the old hairspray for the uh, chipping and weathering. So just went to the bathroom. Wife wasn't looking, grabbed a hairspray and uh, yeah. As you can see, gave it a decent soak because I was leaving this overnight. Um, I wanted it to get in. I'm not sure if that works, but it was just a method I was trying. Uh, instead of the dehydrator, which might have dried it and evaporated it, wasn't sure. But everything got done. Hey guys, if you can let me know what you thought of the split screen so I just do the above camera in the booth or split screen so that'd be great if you could put your uh, comments in about that and the time lapse should I slow it down should I speed it up um, yeah but anyway you'll uh, we'll move back to the bench here in quite a second and yep everything's been done it's sort of our next day Everything's dry, ready to rock and roll. And, yeah. But, I, as I said uh, earlier on at the start, I did receive some Iggy Sticky new synthetic brushes, 2, 3, 4, 5, and 6, and uh, 2, 3, 4, and 5 millimeter. They come up great right towards the end here, uh, where I do a little bit of detail work. And, um, yeah. So I'll leave you to it, guys, and uh, yeah, a bit of gunmetal, get the fine detail work going, and well, here we go. Everything changes, every which way. Changes every which way you got to hold on to what you stay.
Right, folks, going to throw in a bit of um, panel wash. As I said, you know, missed a whole section of recording there. Um, so I've done a little bit of weathering there. And inside, a few scratches and marks and near, near the windows and stuff like that. So I'll throw my uh, panel wash in. Throw it on the old vibrating wonder and uh, let's go Again, not sure if anybody is actually going to see this, but I will. So it's like, yeah. And I'm not sure how um, what would you call it clean inside like a working tank would be, you know, with all all the oils, all the um, for the you know, recoil and if it's right, you know, any hydraulics or. I'm sure they're oiled moving parts, so, yeah. Let's see, oh, I've got a tiny bit of... There you go. Not sure where you can see it, but I'm getting there. That part's done there. Right, let's get this baby in to her new home. Whatever the boys say, what is it, nine seconds, eight seconds? And there she is. All right, we'll put that there. It's nice and flush. 
Beautiful, straight in. Right, but before I go there, time to cut up and mask up inside that little area there. Right, I can go back to the wall of Tamino. Except turn you up. One day I will go over there, not now, but when, when we move house, and I shall. Um, yeah, I will put those Tamiya covers in correct order. And I do have a new icky sticky mat coming. Actually, I've got two. So when I do my unboxings, folks, you will see a nice clean mat with an overhead camera. So, yes. Hmm. I believe this works a bit better than a sponge, hey Pete? And that's it guys, make sure you check out Hippo and Pete. Two awesome, absolutely awesome human beings. Um, who I have the privilege of uh, calling really great mates. Um, so yeah, make sure you go to their channels. Um, I'll put them just down here, here, and here, here, and here. So, yeah, make sure you go and um, check the boys out. That's Hibbo's Modelling Bench and Pete from Ozscale Modelling. Okay, let's sort out another... Just to give me a rough estimate of where I was. Oh, that one actually behaved a lot better than I wanted, which is good. Too soon.
Oh, what is that we saw? Yes, it does. Alright guys, I'll be back and we'll put it on the roof.
All right, folks, here we go. We're on. All right, folks, we're all masked up, ready to throw on the roof here. So I will just, for safety's sake, Pull that back down so we don't get that glued on there and I'm not trying to peel. We are in all four corners, snug as a bug and a rug. And there we have it, one finished little turret, <laughs> we finally got there. There she is, weathered and that inside. Ready to go onto her new home eventually. So we've got that, that. And that goes in like that. One tiger on her way. All right, back day, folks. We'll switch over camera. We'll put a few things away. Do glue up. Still tossing up whether I. I'll finish. Well, I'm not. Well, it's not really a toss up. I'll make sure I've got everything on. The coupler. Um, the storage bin, that'll be separate. A few other little bits and pieces to go on to finish that off. The doors. Um, jerry cans. And then last of least will be the figures. So hang on folks, we'll switch over. Try not to destroy the model. Well, righto folks, it's been a bit of an episode, a bit of a drawn out process but uh hope i've done you guys okay thanks for watching sorry about the scary head but i'm yeah pretty happy with the progress so far a few mistakes as i said never done a tank i'll accept them all and learn by all of them um thanks everybody for the like subscribe support all that sort of stuff you know braden from outlaw paints monique from Mickey, sticky you know andrew from full ball models you know 
and I'll tell you what, not this weekend, but next weekend we have Sue Ice Queen. Um, she's great. She's from the UK. Um, don't forget to hit Nigel up from Nigel's Modeling Bench. Fantastic human being. Make sure you pop and say hello to Bill. She's great. Um, you know, I have Paul from ISM. Um, Wombat. There's just so many guys. So please check it down the link in the descriptions. There's links to all of them. And some great Aussie hobby shops, you know, away from BB's Hobbies. Speaking of which, I forgot to mention, that bloke in the mail, the big uh, red brawn, um, some German grey and um, some gun metal, I think it was, he said. Or something else he said, but you know, just out of the kindness of his heart. He's just bloody brilliant. So thanks, Wayne. BB's Hobbies there, guys. Hang on. No, that one. Yep, all right there. Cool. Um, visit him there. His link's in the description. Go visit him. Right, guys, still no news on the uh, 132 Lancaster. I wait. I live in hope. Uh, find out tomorrow about the offer on the new house. Hopefully. Can't wait. That'll be great. And then we can really get the ball rail rolling with uh, outlaw paints. Um, again, Braden, thanks for looking after me. Mate. Thank you for doing all that you do. But enough of that, guys. Um, again, don't forget, Aussie Model is live. Sunday night, 6 p.m. And, well, as I always say, it's all good. And catch you later.